Hey YouTube, what's up? Um, so I promised to do a video showing how I add a, a Lost Squad buzzer to the Ishin Wizard. Alright, um, so I'm going to try to, to add this buzzer to the Wizard. I have no experience soldering, so let me say that up front right now. No experience soldering. This is going to be my first attempt doing something like this. I looked at a lot of videos and I bought myself a soldering iron and already burnt the wire, the wires from the soldering iron. I'll show you a picture of what happened. So, continuing. This here is my helping hand. I just stuck a cross pin onto this little piece of plastic, so I'm hoping to use that to help me out. Um, I just open up the Ishin Wizard, took out the, um, the top plate, and later on I'll come and, and take out these screws and take out the, um, the flight controller to wire, to wire up the, um, the buzzer to it. What, I, um, what I'll do, I'll, I'll show you a picture of the, um, the wiring description and I'll leave a link to get to that um, wiring um, layout in the description below. and also a link to get this um lost quad buzzer from Banggood below it's pretty cheap i think i pay about four or five us for it right i just took um, a silver wire and I, I i cut the wires the ends from it to use because there was no wire included just the um the pins and the um and the buzzer Alright, so I'm going to do I'm just going to um, tighten up these wires and I'll try to thin them. So you don't want any of, of these um, wires to be strained. So tighten it up, put it into my helping hand. Remember I said I had no experience soldering, right guys, so forgive me if I'm doing crap. Alright, so just as simple as that, heat the, um, the wire, touch the soldering iron to the wire and turn it up. few strands here that wasn't really wired up properly okay so next I'm going to try to wire this to the board all right so it's 5 volts ground and B minus here right so the red goes into the 5 volts okay if you, if you thin the wires before you try to pass it through the hole, it won't work. Mistake. You gotta cut the wires and go again. Should not have done that. So just put the wire in. Them up. See what happens. Finally got around to get in some soda onto this and as you can see I kind of burnt the um, buzzer a bit, looks a bit messy but 
I think it could work. I hope it works. Um, kind of scared to, to, to go with the sorry iron next to the um, flight controller now. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Should I do it? Out of work. Out of work. Now I'm looking a little bit better. Finally finished doing the soldering. So I soldered these wires on the um the buzzer here and then onto the um the flight control board there, right? Um so I'll double check everything, then I'll power it on and I'll go into beta flight next and see if it works. Stay tuned. So on the beta flight here now, let me try and um, connect the cord. See right so plug in it in connect. Right, so since I am um, okay in the table the flight control board let me just calibrate accelerometer. I don't like the correct thing to do but Calibrate the accelerometer. Next, I'll go into receiver and I'll 
Ricorda, ricorda. Switch that I want to try to use. Oh, the controller. So let's say I want to use switch E six. I want to use switch G. auxiliary 6 for the um, for the button. So go to mode, scroll down, so deeper, let's go to auxiliary Is it at least said you're in the deeper here? On auxiliary 6, like this, which I wanted to use, that's what I checked before in um, the receiver settings. So I, I know which switch is auxiliary 6. I came down to modes, uh, scroll down to, scroll down to deeper. Range. I choose auxiliary 6, which is the switch that I wanted, and then I click on save. Try to um let's say I lost the cord. Now to the buzzer, switch it off. On off. I can't believe I did this thing here. First time soldering. First time doing this thing, yeah, no sort of was crap. No, I made a lot of mistakes, but at the end of the day, I have it working. So now when I lost my cord, I can't find it. All I need to do is flip a switch and I can find it. Good, good. So, thanks for watching guys. So, one thing I want to try to do next is to try to be able to add VBAT so I can get the voltage monitoring on my um, controller here. All right. So that's up next. Hopefully, I, I need some help to try and I need some assistance in trying to to figure out how to do that. If anybody knows how to do that. What is the wiring that I will need to do on thing? Please share a link, share a video or something for me to look at and then I will give it a try on my quad. So thanks again for watching and hopefully everything will be good.